Vigilante wins it here with a very simple question, and that is, what is going on with Chris Jericho? It looks like he has a little, I don't know if you want to call it Me Too situation. I think uh, the wrestling equivalent was called Speaking Out. Uh, but it looks like he definitely has some situation going on with him. Uh, before we get too deeply into this, please, please, please leave a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We are getting close to uh, 210. We're on the road to 250 by the end of the month. I'd really appreciate that if you could sub, if you like what we do here. We talk wrestling, sports, all sorts of stuff. Uh, so getting into this story, if you hadn't heard, there's a rumor going on from, I guess now it's five years ago, because it's now 2024, of course. Um, Happy New Year. Um, back in 2019, when AEW was first starting, uh, there is an alleged rumor that the wrestler Kylie Ray, Smiley Kylie, uh, had an incident of some sort with Chris Jericho. Now, this is not coming from her. She has not been the one saying Chris Jericho did something inappropriate. And in fact, when I really go over the details, I don't see any confirmation that something necessarily illegal is even being alleged. It's really coming from Nick Houseman of House of Wrestling. And a guy I'm not really too aware of outside. You may hear his name if you listen to the some of the reports that you get from wrestling. And it's not a guy who's had the highest profile for the longest amount of time. He really kind of got tossed to the forefront during the brawl out situation last year. The CM Punk versus the elite physical confrontation. I guess I need to say a year and a half ago because it was in 2022, of course. And... He's not like a Meltzer, not saying Meltzer is anything close to legit because I'm not a guy who believes the dirt sheets, especially after that CM Punk coming back to WWE. And that that made me very upset. Especially even uh, Owen, who I like. He, Owen 365 Wrestling, I was in his chat, and I kept saying, why are you saying nobody thought this would happen just because some dirt sheets thought that it wouldn't happen? It's like the dirt sheets are not guys, and neither is Nick Houseman. And he made the comparison based upon this five-year-old rumor that Chris Jericho should be compared to Harvey Weinstein or a Bill Cosby because of his behavior and him making people sign NDAs. And of course, we're in this um, witch hunt culture. So the fans at the last pay-per-view are shouting NDA at Chris Jericho and all this other stuff all over. From what I can tell, no incident that, that, alleges a actual assault of any kind what has been alleged from what i can tell please correct me if i'm wrong like share sub but if it's a comment below if, if i have a detail incorrect correct me i'm going off of what i can tell from the reporting but the rumored incident was there was supposed to be a meeting in chris jericho's hotel room with a bunch of other people not just this young lady but a bunch of other people but when she got there it was just her and Chris she felt uncomfortable she left that's the that's the smoking gun that's the worst it could get and then of course I think in, in some social media post she just posted a heart so she might have indeed been uncomfortable around Chris Jericho she might have felt um, maybe like, the, like you know she was lied to I don't even know if she was I don't know that a meeting didn't take place or a meeting got rescheduled or we none of us know enough details to be chanting NDA and all this other stuff and it's just I don't know what is going on I do know what is going on in this culture listen there's no shame in wanting to protect women and, and, and make sure they're good and make sure people aren't being predatory towards women but it's gone too far in the wrong direction and it's now if there's any accusation well you know i've seen grape is jericho to remove the g i've seen all this stuff when i don't even see an accusation of assault uh, we saw trevor bauer who was a pitcher in the major league baseball have to go to japan and lose all his money lose all his endorsements lose his contract lose his whole career over a false allegation a uh, similar thing happened to a rookie punter for the Bills. Um, apparently, it doesn't happen to Josh Giddy. I don't know what. He's bulletproof. Uh, we know about Ime Adoka in the NBA. Who all he did was have a consensual relationship with a young lady, and apparently that's that's not allowed 
it's just this very I don't know what other word to say is it feminist post me too this is just like okay if you have anything at all any incident at all that is close to being seen as inappropriate um, whether or not it's illegal whether or not you do anything wrong just the accusation of it means you have to go away from society you must be shunned at the first accusation i'm not i'm not comfortable with this no matter what interval it is um it, it, i don't get this i don't get this again unless i'm incorrect all that's being uh alleged is that jericho might have made a pass on her and maybe he did construct the incident um you know saying that there's going to be a meeting with other people and it wasn't and so that's that's a bit wrong that's, that's maybe a, an abuse of power for how powerful jericho is in AEW, especially at the beginning where he was the main star and the m biggest mainstream star they had if that even happened again it could have been a genuine meeting was supposed to take place some people canceled and she's the only one who showed up and jericho said you know hey you're a fine looking young lady like spend some time with you and she said you know what i'm gonna go ahead and not do that and get out of here and if that's all that happened that's not illegal and that doesn't mean jericho is a great piss, and that doesn't mean anything and again she's not alleging anything kylie ray is not going out there saying jericho did this to me jericho did that to me it's this nick houseman guy this guy he wants his clout and now he's playing the male feminist role to get his clout and it's it's very weak it's very terrible to see and i'm sick of this era you know goodness gracious I, listen if if something really happened people need to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law but if just an allegation that he made a pass at her and she got uncomfortable come on man especially if it's not even coming from her it's coming from this guy who wants clout and then you compare him to weinstein on on that and now it looks like, and all I can say, this is alleged, it's completely alleged, complete conjecture. But uh, he said something very recently after already causing such a stir, he being Nick Houseman, that these are his opinions, which is a, definitely a legal definition, a legal clarification, which implies that maybe he's already gotten some legal contact from Mr. Jericho or Mr. Irvine is, is his real name and or his attorneys so I don't know what's going to happen with this I'm sick of this I'm sick of this Me Too era I'm sick of everybody trying to come up on uh, false allegations and it, in this case it's not even a woman the woman is not trying to come up it's some janky dirt sheet writer who wants to get his 15 minutes of fame off Chris Jericho's name and off of a rumored incident now there apparently was some rumor back at the time that maybe that was the reason she left but she also had notedly had some own personal issues that she had to deal with and she's apparently happier now has a husband and living her life it's like you're dragging her name through the mud too like do you have any character mr houseman like golly she's not she's not pushing this incident you are you are and she has to relive it now her husband has to see all this stuff on social media and it's like her family has to see all this stuff chris jericho's family has to see all this stuff all because you want clout it's bullshit i'm not a fan of it if there's something i'm missing let me know but from what i can tell it just seems like a, a clout chasing dirt sheet writer please like the video if you haven't already um so if you like the video please like the video if you're so obliged to share subscribe please do that um and even if you've done none of these things thank you for watching thank you for your time good night and god bless please tell me if i'm missing something please because i don't see what i'm missing all right talk to you guys later peace